I have here the latest model 2 octave tonal plexus keyboard with the hot rod color option. This is a controller only, so for the sounds I have here an Adderall Studio Canvas SD20. Today I'll demonstrate for you some things about the layout of the instrument. The names of the white keys are actually the same as they are on a piano. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The names of the black keys are also the same. Like these are sharps. This is C sharp. It's D sharp. F sharp. G sharp. A sharp. And down here are the flats. It's D flat. E flat. G flat. A flat. The gray keys up here are the double sharps, so this is C double sharp, D double sharp, E double sharp, F double sharp, G double sharp, A double sharp. And the double flats are on the bottom here. So we've got D double flat, E double flat, F double flat, G double flat, A double flat, B double flat, C double flat. The blue keys are triple sharps on the top and triple flats on the bottom, and these start to overlap. So if I take a look at this, what am I going to name that? Well, I can start to show you here the pattern, which makes this easier to see. This is C, and this is C sharp, this is C double sharp, C triple sharp. So this is D, D sharp, D double sharp, D triple sharp. Same with E, E, E sharp, E double sharp, E triple sharp, and so on. So what we get is something that sounds like a scale, and it's a scale of triple sharps. The same thing happens in the other direction. If I take the G, this is G flat, this is G double flat, and this is G triple flat. So same for A, A flat, A double flat, A triple flat. And on the bottom here we get also it sounds like a scale down here. We can take the interval of a fifth, for example, between C and G, and show how the triple sharps and triple flats are exactly in the middle. Here's how. If I take C, C sharp, C double sharp, C triple sharp, and G, G flat, G double flat, G triple flat. Those two pitches are the same. This pitch is right in the middle between these two. And that's the way it works across the white keys. So these triple sharps, triple flats, which are in straight lines away from the fifths, are exactly in the middle of that interval. D, D sharp, D double sharp, D triple sharp, A, A flat, A double flat, A triple flat. We end up at the same place. What we're doing there is using the interval of a half step and it's a specific kind of half step that's called the chromatic half step because it keeps the same letter name. This is an A, this is also some kind of A all the way down here to A triple flat. There's another kind of half step called the diatonic half step in which the letter name changes. So here I have an A, that's not some kind of A, that comes from G, that's a G sharp. Again, it's not some kind of A or G, this is a kind of F comes from here. So this is F double sharp. I keep going. Where does this one come from? Keep going down here. It comes from E. E double sharp. And this one is D triple sharp. So I can move from A, G sharp, F double sharp, E double sharp, D triple sharp. That's moving in diatonic half steps. And that's opposed to the chromatic half steps going this way. You notice there are one, two, three in this direction, and there are one, two, three, four in that direction. They both sound like half steps. This one gets there faster. So what's that tell you? These are wider intervals. So the chromatic half steps are wider intervals than the diatonic half steps. I hope this gives some idea as to why the layout is the way it is. The focus is on the center, white keys and black keys, and these expand outwards to triple sharps and triple flats on either side.